Hello everyone, my name is Felipe de Sancho, I am 33 years old and I live in the UK, I live in Canterbury, but I'm originally from Brazil. I moved to the UK around three years ago and I was living in market, I was working as a carer and I decided I wanted to do a career switch. I found out about coding and I fell in love with it, so I decided to go professional. By then I was looking for ways to make this my career and I found a Chitari switch just googling it online and then I started my coding traineeship with a Chitari switch in the first half of 2020 and I finished that about the first half of 2021 it took me a little bit more than a year but I was working a lot back then so I didn't have the amount of time that I wish I had to apply myself to the course I'm pretty sure if you have more time than me, you would be able to finish that in six months or even less. Uh, so when I finished the course, I was doing the recruitment phase and I was having a lot of interviews and one of these interviews were with the access group. And then I got hired and I was really happy about it. I'm even happier now because I love my job. And I think a real switch played a very important role in that because it opened the doors and gave me the tools to land my first job as a software developer. I work as a software developer, a junior software developer for the Access Group, and I work in the Canterbury offices in a flexible work model. So I do a few days in the office, a few days at home, and I'm going to describe how a day in the office is for me. I wake up around 8 o'clock or a bit earlier if I want to hit the gym before work, then I'll head to the office, which is a 5 minute walk from my place. I arrive at the office at 9 o'clock, grab myself some coffee, chat a little bit with my colleagues and set myself up at my desk. I'll just be checking my emails, replying to a few messages, uh, having a look at my schedule and getting myself organized for the day. At half past 9 I have a daily scrum meeting with my team where we all give our updates on what we are doing, express any concerns that we might have with our coding, and we also do triage for new tickets and then send these tickets to the backlog. After the meeting, I'll spend the morning working on my development tasks, writing code for a new feature or fixing a bug in one of our apps, writing automated tests, wherever is involved in the software requirements of my current activity. If I'm starting a brand new task, I'll carefully read the requirements and ensure that I understand what's needed. By then, if I need another developer's opinion or help, I will try to reach out and have a chat. At 1 o'clock, I go out to get some lunch. When I'm done, I'll get back to the office, grab some more coffee and get ready for the afternoon. By this point, if I don't have any other responsibilities, I'll keep writing code for the rest of the day. But it's not uncommon to have all the responsibilities like reviewing a colleague's code or participating in a QA meeting of another developer's work. In the development process, once I'm done with code writing and I believe the feature is complete or the bug's fixed, I'd send my code to be reviewed by another developer of the team. Once that's approved, I'll proceed to do a QA meeting with other members of the team to assure the quality of my work so it can then be released. At this point, if any problems are detected, it go back to development so I can fix the issues and book another QA meeting to evaluate again. These are the activities that I do on a daily basis, but as my team works in sprints of two weeks, there are regular meetings that happen every sprint, which are the sprint planning, sprint review and sprint retrospective. Sprint planning is where we are going to evaluate complexity and pick up enough tasks so that we can be productive in that sprint. Sprint review is where we can show the work that we have done in the past sprint and sprint retrospective is where the team will give feedback on the past sprint so everybody's gonna give their opinions on what went right, what went wrong and how we can improve for the next one. I finish my working day at half past five. When is then time to go home? I hope this video helps clarify a little bit how it is to be a software developer in one of the biggest software companies in the country. Um, if you're thinking about switching your career and going to any area that involves coding, I definitely recommend IT Career Switch Coding Traineeship, as this was the course that opened the pathway to me and helped me get where I am, and I love where I am. And yeah, it's definitely a right first step for you to take. 
I wish you all a lot of success in the future. I know it's hard to change your career and do something new, but it's definitely worth it. And thank you all for watching the video.